All right, now that you have a little experience with right cylinders, let's talk about right prisms. The lateral area of a right prism is equal to perimeter times the height of that prism, and the surface area of a right prism is equal to the lateral area plus two times the area of the base. So let's solve for the lateral area and surface area of a pentagonal prism. Now, in order to solve for the lateral area of this prism, what we want to do is calculate the perimeter, the distance around that pentagonal face, and multiply it by the height. So, we have a typical pentagon that looks like this. And we know that each side length has a value of 11. So, the total perimeter around this pentagonal face, if you add those five elevens up, is 55. And we know that the height of this figure is 13. So, in order to calculate the lateral area of that, we're just going to take 55, the perimeter, and we're going to multiply it by the height of 13. If you do that, you get a lateral area of 715 square units. So here's another way I can show you what lateral area looks like. What if I took that pentagonal prism and unwrapped the sides? If I unwrapped each of these square sides, they would correspond to these five sides right here. Those are the five sides around this pentagon, and they would wrap to these five corresponding sides. So the lateral area of this pentagonal prism is really this green shaded area right here. So each one of these has a side length of 11 and a height of 13, which means they each have an area of 143 units squared. And if you multiply that by 5, you'll get our 715 square unit lateral area. Now to calculate the surface area of this figure, we want to take the lateral area and add 2 times the area of the base. Now remember, the base of our prism were these pentagon shapes on top and bottom of the prism. So let's refer back to that pentagon that we drew in on the left and found that the perimeter was 55. We're going to go ahead and use that part of the diagram to calculate the area of that pentagon now. So we know that the area of any pentagon is equal to one-half the apothem times the perimeter. And we know that the perimeter of that pentagon was 55 units. So now let's solve for the apothem. In order to do that, I'm going to draw a right triangle in the center of our pentagon. And the apothem length is going to be this side right here. So we know that each side length of this pentagon had a value of 11. So half of that value is 5.5. So the length right here of the bottom side of this triangle is 5.5. Now we also know that since it's a pentagon, its central angle has a measure of 72 degrees, which means that half that central angle measure, so this angle right here, is going to be 36 degrees. Now, if you're having trouble with that, refer back to our previous tutorial on solving for perimeter and area of regular polygons. So now that I know that we're dealing with a 36 degree angle there, and our opposite side has a length of 5.5 units, I can use tangent to solve for our adjacent length, which is this, which is also our apothem. So what we have here is the tangent of 36 degrees is equal to our opposite side length, which is 5.5 units, over our adjacent side length, which is our apothem, so I'll label it A. So tangent of 36 has a value of 0 0.73. So 0 0.73 is equal to 5.5 divided by our apothem. And a nifty little mathematical trick is to just switch those two. It'll save you two steps in this problem. And we have our apothem is equal to 5.5 divided by 0 0.73. So our total apothem length is 7.5. So we're going to use that to calculate the area of this figure. 
So the area of our pentagon is equal to one half our apothem, which was 7.5, times our perimeter, which was 55. So the total area of this pentagon is 206.25 square units. So now that we have the lateral area calculated and we have the area of the base calculated, which was that 206.25 square units, we can calculate the surface area. That surface area, like we said, was just equal to that lateral area, 715, plus 2 times that base area, which was the 206.25. So surface area is equal to 715 plus 412.5, which gives us a total surface area of 1127.5 units squared. So some of these calculations for lateral area and surface area can be really time consuming, and that's just normal. Lastly, I'm going to teach you a special formula for calculating the surface area of a cube. So there's a nifty formula to calculate the surface area of a cube, and that's S, the surface area, is equal to 6 times 1 side squared. So if you had this cube here, and it had a side length of 4, then the surface area for this cube could be calculated by multiplying 6 times that side length 4 squared. So our surface area is 6 times 16 in this case, 4 squared. So the total surface area for this cube is 96 square units. Cubes are much faster to calculate the surface area of than di more difficult figures like pentagonal prisms or hexagonal prisms, that sort of thing. Now, as you saw, calculating the lateral and surface area of some prisms and cylinders can be difficult and time consuming. In order to be able to do well on an exam because it's such a short time period you have to practice these a lot it's easy to make a mistake when you're calculating the area of all these different sides of the figure so just practice 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 use the practice problems that we have in this section review them and make sure that you're fluent with how to calculate these different areas it's really going to help you in terms of a time crunch on the exam